Hello everyone, this is Razor Flame Kun, and today we're going to be playing Tetris Attack, which is a spin-off of Panel de Pawn, which is a Japanese exclusive uh, member of the Puzzle League family of games. Uh, Tetris Attack is, uh, I think, easier uh, than the other games in the series. Uh, but without any further ado, we're going to get started. Uh, we're playing on very hard. In order to get to very hard, you have to fold L and up, and you have to press A. Uh, if you know you did it correct, if you get a red background uh, on the star background behind the difficulties. So we're going to start in three, two, one, go. So. Tetris Attack is a puzzly game. Puzzly games are basically the goal of this is to send uh, garbage to your opponent uh, by making combos and chains and topping them out. Uh, as you can see, uh, you have to do quite a bit in order to um, actually get them all, all the way killed. Uh, the optimal setting uh, for this is to get like a times six or seven, and then from there uh, you can just get, you'll usually get the kill. But you have to top them off first and hope that they don't get a ton of stop time. Stop time is. Uh, w when, uh, they make a, a chain or combo, they'll get stop time. And you don't want to have them, uh, stop, stop time is basically a grace period for you to, uh, make it. Uh, it's just basically stop time for you, uh, grace time for you to be able to, uh, make moves and, uh, potentially live. Uh, it's fairly low on this, dif on this difficulty because of it being very hard. That's not high enough. Didn't do enough, uh... Didn't, uh, drop enough. That's gonna be enough, and that's what- That's the perfect stage you wanna see. Is you just wanna drop all the garbage at once, and then... Go ahead and they just die. Uh, due, due to not being able to do anything. So, um, there are, I actually have forgotten how many stages there are in this game, but we'll, uh, definitely, uh, figure that out when we get to the end of this, uh, run. That should be good, with all the combos on top, and that should kill, perfect. So, back-to-back -back 18 second times is really good. My PB in this is like an 11, uh, high 11, uh, almost 12, uh, 12 minutes. I put the estimate at 18 because this game can just really be rude sometimes. That should be good. Nope, just one line short. Now, that should be good. Perfect. So far, so good. Uh, I think the last time I ran this, I can't remember the last time I ran this at a marathon, but one of the one of the last times I ran this at a marathon, I actually got a PB uh, by like two minutes from like a 13 to an 11 to what my current PB is. Uh, whenever you don't play well is when the opponent is going to really, is just when things go out of control and when you get a lot of time loss. Uh, in case, uh, the goal of this game is to match three, uh, although if you match more than three, uh, you get what is, uh, called a combo, and when you... Time it, uh, so that, like this, that's a chain. Uh, so I believe the green numbers are chains, and the, uh, blue numbers are, or the red numbers are combos. But these opponents get pretty difficult on the higher difficulties. Uh, 
Uh, one thing I need to mention is this game lags very, very hard. Uh, uh, especially when garbage is being cleared. This game really just lags, and it, it just happens. Uh, this is a bad stage. Uh, these exclamation blocks are shock blocks. Uh, they drop st uh, steel garbage, which uh, requires you to uh, clear them separately from uh, other garbage. Good. So that's an example of how a stage can go wrong. If you didn't uh, notice already, this game has a lot of very bad RNG. Uh, can be very punishing RNG-wise. Okay, level 6 is when uh, the first major increase in difficulty is for this difficulty. This is where you can't really afford to make too many mistakes. I say that, and then I just forgot to lower my stack, so... Uh, it's not very hard to get a uh, deathless run in this game. It's, like, not very hard at all, but... If, 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 if you lose focus for just a second, you can just die. Let's try this again. Perfect. So I, I bounced back from that death with a 20 second win. I am happy with that. Uh, just a note, time uh, will be uh, when the cursor disappears on the last stage. So I'll make sure to let you know when that is. Nice leg chains there. Uh, you're going to notice a lot more clears uh, from your opponents uh, starting in these later stages. Perfect. So, um, I believe stage 9 is the next stage where things uh, increase in difficulty. And then, uh, like, the last three stages all in, all in a row have difficulty increases each of the... All, all, in all three of the stages. Uh, the, the real good way to do these stages is to uh, in, inter, interlock or interlace uh, combos in with your chains. That, uh, that way you're able to uh, just fill up the screen faster. But I've been having some really, really good stages. Like, all right, so we are into uh, the Cave of Wickedness up next is Hookbill. Uh, this is the next difficulty increase. You're going to start noticing the cursor speed of the opponents get really fast, starting right around here. There, you're also going to start noticing a lot more uh, chaining from the opponents here. Or combos? Combo? I think combos. In, uh, P in PDP, it's chains. In this game, I'm pretty sure it's combos. I'm not, I don't remember 100% though, because, yeah, it's combos, definitely. Uh, they go for, they, they do, I mean, it's not to say that they don't go for chains, they do, but, uh, they're programmed to go for, uh, chains, or combos, sorry. He's topped, let's see if he doesn't see, he always sees something right away. So gar the garbage 
is the main uh, th is the main thing that can cause a lot of time loss. So yeah, but we're uh, I think now I remember there's 13 stages. So uh, we have naval, the naval piranha plant next. Then we have somebody else I can't remember. Uh, then we have it's either 12 or 13 stages. Nice. Instant clear from the opponents. That's I'm not a fan of that. Uh, whenever you're clearing panels, uh, you have uh, stop time. Uh, you are you're not you're not able to die. Okay, good. So, um, if stage 11 is what I think it is, then there's only 12 stages, but something's telling me there's 13. No, no there, I think there's 12. Yeah, this is the second to last character ca comic, so there's 12 stages. So, things get even harder here. Focus, focus! Focus, focus! Focus, focus! You're gonna be hearing that a lot. His stack is all the way down. That's not good. I mean, it's good if I can uh, just crowd him with a ton of garbage. But, like that. So that's a crush kill. I think uh, now we have the final stage. Uh, final stage uh, should be Bowser. Yep, this is final stage. So, notice the cursor speed of this opponent. Like, just watch the cursor speed on the right. On. Dump, he got a clear. That's unfortunate. And you're also gonna start noticing a lot of leg. Wow, time! Wow. So, what was my time? Looks like about 12.39. Wow, that's the best run I've had of this in a while. Most of the time I get like 14 or 15 minute runs, so... Yeah, that's this is Tetris Attack, and uh, if you like this game, uh, I would highly recommend you check out Panel de Pond. It's similar to this game, it's actually, th this game was spun off of Panel de Pond. Uh, I'm not going to say how to get it, just look for it on the interwebs and uh, have fun with it. If you want to learn this run, uh, feel free to uh, ask me in chat. Well, not in in Discord. Uh, also, you can go... Uh, do you, uh, uh, Boix, do you have the link to Puzzle General's uh, Discord? I do not. I think it's just... Uh, I think it's just discord.gg slash Puzzle General. All right, well, thank you for the run. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, and um, again, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks uh, for having me and enjoy the rest of the marathon, guys.